Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3, Root.com for this week's Rom of the Week for T-Mobile Galaxy Note 3. Uh, do check out uh, XDA user PTMR 3's Jedi Elite KK ROM, Jedi Elite KitKat ROM. Uh, this is based off the latest T-Mobile uh, Android 4.4.2 release. Um, so you'll get the latest 4.4.2, uh, which obviously means you will have... Um, you will have Wi-Fi calling. But I'm actually running my AT&T SIM card because I've been using that more and then people start calling me on it and uh, if I have important calls and I'm on the T-Mobile SIM card, um, I have it routing it, but, but I won't get the test messages for some reason. So that's why I have my AT&T SIM card in there. Anyway, to the ROM itself, it's actually nearly stock as possible right now because it's version one, uh, but it still has a ton of stuff. Uh, it is definitely faster than stock. I would definitely not run Team Mobile stock KitKat. Uh, it's okay, but this is way better. Um, Jedi ROM tricks. This is where you can go ahead and uh, donate to PTMR3, the developer of this ROM. I'll find them on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And also, um, you'll have floating notifications if you want. A keyboard switcher, LMT Pi launcher. Um, I love this stuff. Just I can just turn off my Wi-Fi, turn it on. Um, you know, check how many bitcoins I have, all that good stuff. A trickster mod. This one allows you to overclock your phone. Now, this one does come with sort of a stock kernel. It's not modified highly yet, but in the upcoming weeks, it's going to have a lot of overclocking, I'm sure. And I will have an update on that. And also Viper for Android. Of course, this is one of my favorite, um, probably the best audio op out, out there for your phone, speaker, headset, uh, Bluetooth device, USB dock. Um, I do have a full tutorial guide on that also, so check that out. And also LMT Pi Launcher. I do have a full tutorial guide if you want to see how to set it up for those of you noobs out there. And Exposed Framework. Um, this one allows you to run your favorite apps in your custom DPI, a tablet, phone mode, you know, all that standard stuff. I also have a full tutorial guide on that. I'll have all of this links to it at the bottom in the extra section. Uh, if you want to check it out and uh, implement it into your phone. And also for Music Flair, Player, it does come with Next Music, which works well with Viper for Android, whereas the TouchWiz uh, Music Player sometimes has trouble. Um, so I do actually prefer a third-party uh, music player. A pen window uh, manager here, you can go ahead and add uh, your favorite apps that are not uh, supported by TouchWiz. Go ahead and add all of your favorite apps. Um, standard stuff and also in a Roman install you'll have the choice to remove some of the bloatware you don't want um, some of this like like Samsung apps I didn't install I don't really use it much um, so you will have an option for that uh, but uh, looking pretty good this again this is the first version and I really like it um, and I know some of you swear by Jedi ROMs and I've been actually swearing by it um, ever since he was making ROMs with I forget now. Uh, what was that phone? I have so many phones. Anyway, um, check it out for this week's Rom of the Week. Looking pretty good. And I will have an update when there's a major update, definitely. Um, and I'm looking for some overclocking. Or maybe I even go install some custom kernels soon. Uh, I forgot to mention this. This is really cool. Um, so go ahead and have fun with your lightsaber. And uh, I will see you guys soon. As always, uh, stay hot on Android.